Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna talk about citrus trees. I have a little treat for myself, for you guys. We have ourselves really the, the first real tasting of a kumquat that I grew myself. I've been growing citrus now for a number of years. I have had many trees. A lot of them have died, unfortunately. This is kind of what you have to do here in my climate is we have to bring them inside for the winter time because you can kind of see outside there's no leaves in the trees. It's very rainy. It's very wet and cold. These trees would never survive the winter. So this is one method of bringing them inside. And I have them in a south facing window and it really seems to work out well. This particular fruit flowered for me in the spring. At least I believe it flowered for me in the spring. I can't recall. Uh, yeah, I think it did. And now it's fruiting. So that's a pretty Pretty short ripening window, if you ask me. Um, I was expecting this particular tree, because this is a Eustis limequat, and I was expecting this to be more along the lines of a lime. I love cooking with limes. I like cooking with citrus. This over here is an Australian finger lime. You can see how different the leaves look. They're very small, very thorny plant. This hopefully will flower next year for me. And I guess that will have to be my main lime because when I use this as a lime, it's pretty mild. It's not very sour, I've noticed. And because I guess it's half lime, half lime, or half kumquat, um, you're not really supposed to use it as a lime. I guess you could. I wanna find out right now if I can eat this as a kumquat. Now that it's yellow, it was green, and I thought, oh, they're limes, they're ready, but I think now that this is perfectly yellow, it's probably at its perfect state. We do have a, a kumquat over here that's growing quite nicely for me, but this particular tree didn't flower just yet. Um, so this is really my first homegrown kumquat, you could say. And I really value this fruit in containers. For people in, in colder climates, they do really well in containers and bringing them inside is not a bad idea for people in colder places. Put them in a south or west facing window like I have. And what's nice about this fruit is that it flowers and fruits at a time where nothing else does. Um, so you get fruit, like I'm getting fruit now, we're now in December. So this is a December piece of fruit. That's awesome. This particular kumquat will, will fruit for me like the first fruit of the year. You know, this will be probably sometime in April or sometime in May uh, and be the first fruit of the year. Maybe even March I could get it. So I really value these trees. And yeah, they're not the largest trees. They're hard to take care of because they need special requirements of putting them inside. And they're kind of prone to root rot. They're tough to establish. They need a lot of food. But I think it's really well worth uh, growing these things. So I want to I want to taste this now, and this will be I guess the real test. There's obviously kumquats that probably will taste better than this. I hope. Um, and this is not really a true kumquat, right? It's also a lime. But this is I think one of the best, more tropical plants you can grow. Everyone wants to grow something super tropical for the reasons I mentioned. I think this is like the best evergreen plant you can grow in a colder place is some sort of citrus, a lemon, a lime, nothing on the sweet side, you know, big oranges and grapefruits. They need a lot of energy and they need a lot of sunlight. Something like a kumquat, a lime or a lemon, super easy to grow. Um, you know, other than the citrus, I've been thinking about more of the Morris Niagara mulberry, you know, maybe even more pomegranates. Um, I've also been thinking about a Jabota Kaba. I think that's also probably one that's worth doing in a pot. And uh, But they need so many years. The citrus can flower even in the first year after grafting them. So let's try this. So it's actually a lot like a lemon. It tastes like a lemon to me. And I wonder if it is a lemon. <laughs> mm. It's got it all over ourselves. 
So it's really uh, quite sour, more sour than it used to be. And I think maybe that's because it was green and really wasn't ready just yet by chance. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a citrus expert myself, but I have a feeling this is mislabeled. I have a feeling this is not what a Eustace lime, lime quat should be. And maybe this is actually indeed a lemon. It tastes like a lemon to me. It doesn't taste like a lime. Um, it doesn't taste like a kumquat. And it doesn't really work as a kumquat because a kumquat has less flesh, more skin. The flesh is sour, the skin's sweet, and they kind of counteract each other really well. But this is a lot of flesh, very little skin, so it's a lot of sour, little sweet. And I would actually use this as a, as a, uh, as a lemon. I wouldn't use it as a lime, um, and I wouldn't probably eat it as a kumquat. So pretty weird. I don't really know. I'll have to look into this, do my research. I got this at Four Winds Growers in California, so I'm going to have to check their website, contact them, and see what the deal is. We'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys enjoy this little citrus update. We don't talk a lot about them, but uh, I hope to more in the future. Check out our blog, figboss.com. We'll see you guys soon. Take care, everyone.